This year's theme for the Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament is accountability to enhance voices and rights of children during COVID-19 and beyond. And before business proper could start, one of the child ambassadors, Emi Ayaka, from the Western Cape, demanded fiscal audience with the Social Development Minister, Lindy Wizulu, who joined the meeting virtually. Is the Honorable uh, Minister in attendance? I am here. Do you accept our honorable uh, request for a private meeting with you? My office will synchronize the date, but I've already said that I will arrange myself. Once assurances were given, the child ambassadors from the nine provinces gave accounts of their tenures and other members presented papers on thematic areas covering health, mental and physical, education, safety, security and participation of children in communities. We cannot achieve our goal of having 100% child-friendly communities overnight. But if we can start now, sooner or later, we will see the light at the end of this dark tunnel. So now the declaration continues. For most of the speakers, the issues raised at the last session two years back are still being raised. They feel government is not taking children seriously. I feel that children's programs have become an act of tokenism. We want our opinions to actually be given attention. And the second thing is, I do not understand how we are saying that we want an, a, um, a government that actually works in coordination with, the, with each and every single department, but there's only one representative of a department, which is DSD. Where is education? Where is sports and recreation? Where is agriculture? That is a problem. The issues and intensity with which the honorable members have been bringing forward since the beginning of this session this morning may be telling us a lot about the insufficiency of decision-making channels through which these issues should be dealt with at the community, local and district and provincial levels. The participants didn't pause for a tea break, nor did they mince words all through the session, and that certainly got the attention of the adults in the room. It is our desire, it is our commitment to continue to amplify the voices of children. They are saying they do have solutions and they are prepared to contribute and they want to be supported. All what they need is for us to create opportunities for them so that then we can listen but action out what they are saying. I think the message is very clear. Hopefully government will go beyond taking note and giving assurances regarding the issues raised. The Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament is in its 11th year and is held in honor of South Africa's first black president to debate on issues affecting children. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betty Divya, Channels Television News.